once again welcome to another episode of uh, organ improvisation today we'll be looking at a glance to the keyboard and the pedal board i have once explained in some of my video that the pedal board approach is much simple for beginners i suggest stick to your left leg using a toe to run a scale yeah it's possible you do it that way then the next thing will be to try to use your toe at heel do not rush start with the key of C only then you try it with your left hand. Then you try with your right hand. Then you try with both hands. a shorter bench like mine or a longer bench sit at the center how do you know if you are at the center you spread your leg wide and be sure there are no strip on your lap close it back and you may your two legs may be pointing to the e flat and the sharp with ease without any stress this allows you to go this way There are exercises which we have we're going to share uh, the link on this video then also you try to pick a shorter hymn something like uh, uh, you are a learner it's expected you focus on your left leg it's just a training process over time you have exercises that will help you build up to do the right to do to stay at, at, at the center of the pedal board and play with ease <laughs> Play 
your tenor and um, the bass at the same time. Now, this is a little bit difficult, but if you can successfully do that, then you are already improving. There's an improvement in what you're doing. It's very important. Uh, there's a very popular question where people ask, when you play hymns, do you have to play only the bass part of the pedal, or you have to, you know, play the same thing you are playing, you playing the four parts, and then you have to also play the bass part of the pedal. Well, here is what I think about it. It's nicer if you can play only the bass part on the pedal board, but if you haven't developed to that extent, then don't rush it, or else you make mistakes while playing your hymns, and that could be more dangerous to your congregation. So, I would say, you learn. In the process of learning, you can stick to playing your tenor part alone, while your, you know, your legs focus on the bass part. This could help you develop a, what we call an open score. This could help you develop even faster on how to interpret organ music, which have pedal separate from the right and from the left hand. They do separate things. So if you can't start practicing your hymn in that manner, then you will develop faster. You will be able to attend um, organ repertoires and things like that. not a process I will want us to rush. Um, I will want you to go back, pick um, a comma meter, a short meter, a long meter, a 7S, an 8S, an 8686, um, these meter metrics met met of hymns. Pick them, practice them on whatever key they are. Start with any of them who, who that is on the key of C. This will make it easier Then grow into it, grow into it over time. Doing that, you are guaranteed that your approach to better playing will, keep, will improve. Then, coupled with other exercises that will be shared, you can really, really have much fun practicing the pedal. So, I close the this um, session, the short improvisation. We should always close with an improvisation. This is good. And luckily, I have an instrument I'm enjoying.